Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with free easy pass. Today I'm having a special guest and we're going to have a discussion about Manet's technique. And this special guest is my daughter, Domiti. Hi. So, why are we talking about Manet's painting technique? Well, merci for asking this wonderful question, Domiti. Um, it's because he started a painting rebellion. So oh. here are the three facts I'm going to talk to you about. So the fact number one is the slapdash technique. The fact number two is normal mid-tones. And the fact number three, black paint. So here is a famous painting by Edouard Manet called The, ba the Balcony. And it was painted in 1869. And this painting is at the Orsay Museum in Paris. So for fact number one, slapdash technique, does that mean that he was just carelessly painting? Well, yes. OK. <laughs> That's what he was doing. <laughs> exactly. Because he wanted his paintings to be more spontaneous. So it doesn't look overwork. Before, in the classical painting style, you were not supposed to see any brush strokes, like in this painting, for example, called Nymph and Satire by William Bouguereau, painted in 1873. And this painting is at the Clark Art Institute in Massachusetts. Cool. Yeah, so thanks to the new paint tube, the paint was thicker and the execution was faster. He wanted his brush he wanted his brush strokes to be seen, to be loose, to be broad and quick. So here is a painting called Argenteuil, painted in 1874. This painting is at the Musée des Beaux-Arts in Tournai. This is in the north of France. Okay, so if I remember correctly, that painting technique was really embraced by the new generation after him. So that's what we call Impressionists, right? Absolutely, okay. you've got it right. And so, why did he not use mid-tones, moving on for fact number two? Well, because what happened is that he eliminated almost all the intermediate values, which are called the mid-tones, between the lightest values of the paintings, which are what we call the highlights, mm. and the darkest values of a painting, which is what we usually call the shadows. He was against painting that were hues and gravies, as he called them. Okay. But doesn't that make the painting look a little more flat? Like Yes, okay. absolutely. And this is what he wanted. He removed the free dimension of the painting, which was omnipresent in painting since century. And he wanted to get rid of that. Mm. Here is what portraits look like with mid-tones. Um, this painting is a self-portrait by Angelica Kaufmann and it was painted in 1784 and it's in Germany. I wish now, I could do as good of a self-portrait. Yes, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah. It's a really good painting. Yeah. Very good three dimensions. Yes, very good three dimensions. <laughs> now, here is what a portrait by Manet looked like without the mid-tone. It's a portrait of Victorine Meurant. It was painted in 1862 and this painting is at the Museum of Fine Art in Boston. Nice. Yeah, I can definitely see a difference. It looks much more two-dimensional. Yes. There's a clear divide between the clear and the light. Yes, the absolutely. The dark and the light. Yes. Sorry. So, fact number three, what does black paint mean? Oh, it means that really Manet was the last French painter to love and use black paint. Here is one of his best paintings, his most famous painting of Berthe Morisot with a bouquet of violet painting, painted in 1872. And this painting is at the Orsay Museum. Camille Pizarro, one of the most famous Impressionist painters, once said that Manet knew how to paint light with black. Wow, very cool. Yeah. So what happened to black? Well, the Impressionist painters stopped using it because they say that all shadows had a color. They decided, they, they thought that we shouldn't paint shadows anymore with black paint, but your shadows should have some color in it. Mm. Renoir said, one morning, one of us, having no black, used blue instead and Impressionism was born. Well, I'm not sure that's the only cause of Impressionism. No, I agree. But, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> it's, a nice, it's a nice quote. Yeah. So when was black reintroduced? Was it ever reintroduced? Yes, it was okay. really reintroduced 50 years later by Henry Matisse. And uh, he really, again, used a lot of black in his painting. Okay. Yes. So here are three facts easy to remember about Manet's painting technique. Fact number one, slap dash technique. 
fact number two, no more mid-tones, and fact number three, black, black paint. Now, if you're like me and you want to impress your friends and family at the museum even more or just have fun, the next video is just, just for you because I have created seven trivia questions about Manet's technique. Also, if you want to learn more about Manet, you can check out the link below. Nice chatting with you. Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video.